Hey guys, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video, so I'm a little bit nervous. Sorry if I start speaking a little bit too fast, but we'll see how we go. You may know me from Instagram. Um, I've just started doing a makeup thread thingy a couple of months ago and I thought I might branch out into YouTube because I really want to make some new friends. Um, I live out in the middle of nowhere basically. I don't really know all that many people out here so I just thought it'd be a great way to make some friends, like-minded people. I've written down um, a few things that I'd like to do like a 50 facts about me challenge. Yeah. So I should have said that to begin with. This is a 50 facts about me thing. Okay, all right. Settle down. I've had a lot of coffee today. Okay. All right. So let's get right into it. I was born 19th of June, 1986. So that would make me 30 years old. I'm married and we've been together for nearly five years. It will be our five year anniversary on the 25th of February next year. And that also happens to be our one year wedding anniversary as well. So he can never forget our anniversary. <laughs> I was born in Queensland in Australia and I moved down to Victoria in March. Yeah, start of March this year. And it is always cold here. I am a Gemini. And I act like it too. I still to this day do not know how to ride a bike at all. Um, my parents were a little bit iffy about me having one when I was a kid because we lived in a really hilly area and paranoid parents being paranoid parents they thought I was going to <coughs> run into a car so I have one sibling and her name is Sasha she is two years older than me and she's beautiful. I have two pets. I have a Dalmatian. He's probably about eight months old now. And my cat, who is a Burmese, he's sleeping right there. Yeah. He's probably about two years old now. I'm five foot six inches. I'm short. 99% of my wardrobe is black. It's my safe color. I can't help it. I've been fighting ovarian cancer for. Uh, about three years now. Um, I started getting sick about four years ago, but it was a year after that that I actually got was diagnosed with the cancer. It's under control right now. I'm on a trial drug. Um, it's basically keeping it at a low level. I was diagnosed with a stage four and um, it was really bad to begin with. It had made its way through to all of my lymph nodes. So basically it's all the way through my body. If you'd like me to make a video going more in depth with this, um, I'm more than happy to. Just let me know in the comments below. It's a really in depth story. It takes a while and it's over a span of years. So, um, yeah, let me know if you'd like me to make that video. This is a wig, but um, my hair is probably about, about there right now. It's not the best cut, so that's why I like using the wigs. When but all before I lost my hair, I used to put so many colors in it, like pinks and blues and purples. And oh, I loved having colorful hair, but I did not like the way the bleach just destroyed it all the time. So I'm going to just go all natural. Um, eventually, when it grows out a little bit, I probably will stop wearing my wigs so much. But right now, I like the way they look because they look so feminine. I've never been out of Australia. I know that sounds really bad considering I'm 30 years old, but I would have been traveling um, in the last few years, but unfortunately I've been so unwell. But me and my husband are planning on going somewhere overseas for a honeymoon, probably sometime in the next year to year and a half, but I'll make sure to definitely vlog that once we do. The reason why I live in such a remote area in Victoria is because my husband is in the army and he's been in it for about a year or two yeah yeah um, we're planning on moving back up to Queensland as soon as we possibly can because it's just so cold down here and ugh. I like the warmth I like the warmth I'm just I'm constantly cold I am um, yeah. I have a lot of irrational fears we have um, emus around here I hate them I I, I cannot handle the like big talons and like the rip your face off. I don't like emus. Um, chickens are cute from a distance. Um, I don't like 
big near chickens. They have beady little eyes and they're just pecking. Ugh. Clowns? <laughs> Everyone's afraid of clowns, but I think I think it's very cliche, but I I don't like them. Um, I've never really been to a circus. I don't know how I would go if I went to one because they're just also driving places that I've never driven before when I'm by myself. I don't mind going places with Ross when he's driving. If I've never driven there before by myself, then I just stress. I mean, I'll do it, um, but I'll just be like, <laughs> like the whole time. I just, I can't handle it. I have never broken a bone or been stung by a bee or a wasp. I'm probably the most stubborn person you will ever meet. Once I get an idea into my head, I do not stop until I get it done. Anyone who knows me will tell you I'm a very, very, very honest person. I try my best not to be rude about it though. Uh, I try to be a little bit tactful, considerate of people's feelings, but I do try and be as honest as I possibly can while being diplomatic. I am the queen of procrastination. I will literally do anything to get out of adulting. Like I hate housework and all that sort of stuff. Anything like paperwork, um, taxi kind of stuff. I will put it off for as long as I possibly can. I cannot dance at all. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't really want to come out with me clubbing because I seriously, I can't, I can't dance, but um, it doesn't stop me from doing it when I'm at home though. I'm quite embarrassing. Uh, thankfully, it's mainly my animals that see me do it. My favorite TV shows are Game of Thrones and Supernatural. I've just watched, was it Stranger Things? And I really, really, really like it, but it, like there's other two like I am a coffee addict. I've been a barista for six years and I cannot get enough of it. I've gone scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef twice and I absolutely loved it. I am a bookworm. I absolutely love books. Uh, if I don't have time to read, I'll be listening to Audible. Um, it's, there's nothing more soothing to listening to Audible or a book or whatever. When you go to sleep, piercings that I've had. Um, I have my septum done at the moment, but it's just flipped up inside. Um, I've had my nose done, my tongue done, my ears done three times, my belly button done. I think that's about it. Yeah. I have five tattoos. Dying to get more. The ones that I have aren't massive, but I really would love some like leg pieces. I am very uncoordinated. I cannot play sport. Um, I used to get teased and laughed at a lot when I was younger because I could not play sport. Every single time someone would throw a ball at me, I would drop the damn thing. But I love going to the gym. It's, um, and going for walks with my dog and everything. I like being active, but as far as competitive sports or team sports, I am no good. I am an auntie. My nephew is seven years old and my niece is five years old and their names are Noah and Ruby and they are the most beautiful children you've ever seen in your life. I avoid the sun like the plague. I stay out of it. I'm always the person in the shade. I always put on sunblock if we're going out anywhere. I just... I don't mind putting fake tan on because it's it looks pretty. My favorite flavor combination is salty and sweet. Probably my favorite treat would have to be salty sweet popcorn. Yummy. I've never really liked gummy lollies. Like, at all. They get stuck in your teeth. I mean, they don't taste bad, but I don't like the texture of it getting stuck in your teeth. Uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast would have to be my all-time favorite Disney movie. Closely followed by The Lion King. I can make my tongue do this. <laughs> my favorite candle scent would have to be coconut and vanilla, but I've never smelled the um, pumpkin spice ones that they have over in Bath and Body Works. I'm dying to have some of those, but um, I can't get them over in Australia. Do you know, it's so hard not looking into that viewfinder. I feel rude, like looking up like that all the time, looking at myself when I should be looking there. I need practice. 
Um, my favorite fruits are bananas, dates, and raspberries. Uh, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an actor. I got in, when I got into high school, I really wanted to be a makeup artist on movie sets. I'm a night owl. Since I was a kid, I've always had so much trouble getting to sleep. Um, I, it's probably when I do most of my thinking was when I'm just about to fall asleep. So, yeah, I have a lot of trouble getting to sleep. <laughs> but at least these days I'm not getting to sleep at like 4 o'clock in the morning or anything. It's probably around... Somewhere between 12 and 2 that I fall asleep. It's just, I don't know. It's just what I do. I quit smoking six and a half years ago. I don't do drugs and I only drink a handful of times a year, like probably under six times a year. I just, it doesn't really appeal to me anymore. I used to drink a little bit more when I was younger, but I don't know, like the hangovers are getting worse and worse as I get older and I just, doesn't really appeal to me. For my favorite sounds, um, probably the rain um, when you're falling asleep. It's um, there's nothing more soothing than hearing rain when you're falling asleep. And also, I love the sounds of kookaburras when it's daybreak or when the sun's going down. I am a hermit because when you leave the house, you have to wear pants. And I don't like wearing pants. Yeah. My favorite days are when I don't have to get up, do anything. I can just chill out with Ross and the animals and we just watch TV, no makeup on, hair mess. I like those days. They're really nice and relaxing and they're very few and far between. We're always running around doing stuff, so. I have always hated eating cold toast. I cannot stand it. Uh, it feels like it's cold immediately right after you take it out of the toaster. More than often put my toast into the microwave. It's not for very long, like not, not long enough to um, make it go soggy or anything, but can't handle having cold toast. It's... I can't stand it when... Excuse you. I can't stand it when people start drama for no reason, like at all. I find it very hurtful and just a complete waste of energy and time. I just figure that one of us will be nice to each other. My ultimate dream in life is to own my own cosmetics line. I even have a name picked out for it, um, which I won't say, but um, yeah, I, I really, really, really want to do my own cosmetics line. I passed my learners and my driving test all in the first go. <laughs> I have a scar above this eyebrow. You probably can't see it because I have makeup over it, but it drives me crazy when I'm doing my makeup because it completely misshapens my eyebrow and... <laughs> I wear glasses and I'm nearly blind in this eye. I can really barely see anything out of it, but I do look mostly through this eye, so most things aren't really blurry when I'm looking. It's just when I cover this eye that I can't really see much. So that's it for the 50 Facts About Me challenge. I really like to get to know you guys better, so if you like, you can comment down below and tell me three facts about you. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, then you can subscribe down below, become a member of the family. Let me know what you'd like to see next, whether you want me to recreate something from my Instagram or maybe another tag video. I don't know. I don't know. See you guys in the next one. Did I do okay? Meh.